hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is chicken and butter with pasta and garlic and some vegetable salad as well this video was requested for yakale ndogo idea and here we go i already prepared everything and wrap stay tuned and keep watching Seasoning so kissing and me two tablespoons three tablespoons of ginger planica do you see two full chicken huh? bean it and garlic garlic la full bomb garlic la use and one green bell pepper lini mungi neka about five tablespoons of vinegar
legi ne gis ngeen ko non ci zina ko ba pare da nga gis ne chafka chafka yeb dina duga ci bir because ne ko ne tay la ko toga elek la ko toga insha allah so dama ko duga ci fridge bebe elek chafka bi yeb dina duga ci bir ba ci bon ci sa dina fa aga so man ko tej we are already in day two guys so we doing the real cooking today i will start with the pasta it's going to be plain pasta you guys will get to see it's going to be very simple pasta you will see how i will prepare the pasta i will go ahead and add in some salt in the water Let's take a look at our uh, chicken that we seasoned since yesterday. So I just took it out of the fridge and I'm gonna go ahead and start steaming the chicken. As you guys can see, there's some water there already, so I don't need to add any water. Chicken has, has no water. Once you start steaming it, you see the water coming out. So I don't need to add any more water. It's just the water that's that's um, drained from the chicken and the vinegar and the lemon that I added yesterday. So that's enough. As I put it in the stove, you guys will see that um, it will start steaming. Um, anyway, it's important to always steam your chicken as well before frying or grilling, whatever you want to do with the chicken later on. Always try to steam it first. Steaming is very important because it allows the chicken to be well cooked, like deep inside the bones and the blood that's inside. So, you know, sometimes it happens like you're eating chicken and then you happen to see a blood, like once you cut the chicken, you start seeing a little bit of blood. And that can really turn your mind, you know, and cause a very serious nausea. So because of that, it's important to always cook your chicken well. Cook your chicken well, steam it well, huh? Before frying, don't, don't just like go ahead and fry your chicken or grill your chicken without the um, without the steaming the steaming part is very vital okay i'll be steaming the chicken for at least 10 to 15 minutes guys i have already boiled the pasta so i'm gonna cook it with some butter and garlic with some um parsley and stuff you guys will get to say that and add some butter just a little bit of butter I'll allow the bottom to melt. So this is about one grain of parsley, one point of parsley, eight garlic cloves. Yeah, so I'm gonna add it inside. So as you guys can see right now, so I'll add in help to more medical time. Okay, so that's about half. And then I will add one teaspoon of black pepper. The pasta is set and ready to go, so I will just pack it aside. Anyway, guys, the garlic, the parsley, and the butter in this uh, pasta feels good let's take a look at our steaming chicken it's enough now it's in fact more than the 15 minutes that i talked about because i was concentrating on the pasta so it's more than the 15 minutes but as you guys can see the chicken is well cooked now i will just go ahead and take it off so guys these are some carrots and some potatoes i am going to add some little bit of water and boil it a little bit at least 10 minutes Anyway, this is for the vegetable salad. This is for the batter, guys. We have about two cups of all-purpose flour. 
two tablespoons of paprika, half a teaspoon of um, red chili, half jumbo maji, one teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to mix all the dry ingredients together. Okay. So now that everything is evenly distributed, I will add some of the dry ingredients in the plate here. So guys, this is about four eggs. I will add in some little bit of water. And then I will mix it together. So guys, our butter is ready. The butter is all set and the dry flour is also set. So guys, that's our chicken. I allow it to cool. It's not hot anymore, so it will not burn my fingers. I will just go ahead and gently start applying the butter. We are not baking the the chicken or grilling. I'm just I'm just using the big tray because I need a like a white place so that I can do this. We are going to deep fry the chicken. So I will start adding the dry ingredients. Oh, the dry flour. So guys, when I am adding the chicken inside the cooking pot, I'm afraid I will not clean that part because I want the, the legs to be broken. Fracture? I don't want, I don't want to have fracture here. <laughs> oh, this location. So, I don't mean myself. I'm talking about the chicken. I don't want the chicken to have this location of fracture. So, I will need to use both hands to put it inside the oil. And I don't have some, anybody to do the thing for me. My sister is studying at the moment. And there's no other person. My mom, I know she will not come here. So, I don't have anybody to help me. With the thing about my cousin went to work. Even the other side of the chicken, I have to apply butter there. So I'm not feeling that part as well because I need to put the phone down in order to do that properly. As you guys can see, I just um, started frying the chicken. And the chicken on the oil is not really hot, it's not too hot, I just need it a little bit and then I added the chicken because I want it to be like deep fried inside and for the inner part to be well cooked without the outside getting gone. You understand? I want it that I want the frying to take long so that everything can be well cooked, well fried without burning the chicken or the cooked. So I will give it some time while I'll be preparing the vegetable salad. So this is the potato and the carrot that I already boiled. So I'll just go ahead and add this is some resin, sweet corn and green beans. I'm going to add it inside. Add in about one teaspoon of black pepper and one jumbo maji. This is our vegetable salad. And this is about three tablespoons of mayonnaise. some parsley so the 
that's what I'll be doing with that there. I got chicken, chicken, and some fun as well. I'll just let me give it more time. And then I will find it. I will give it some time, then I will call me. I'm so excited guys because you know it feels good when you're doing something and you know that you do it you were really doing the right thing. Oh my god guys, what is this? What is this? Crunchy crunchy chicken. <laughs> So guys, I just took out the chicken. It's so crunchy. Wow, nice, lovely. Okay. So guys, I just took out the chicken. It looks so nice and crunchy. The filling, the texture is so crunchy. Lovely. So, we are three quarter way done. We only left with preparing the sauce. So, let's prepare the sauce, guys. So, guys, this is for the sauce. We have about one green bell pepper, half a bunch of parsley, and six chili cloves. And here we have about one teaspoon of um, tomato paste, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of red chili powder, and have jumbo machi and a pinch of salt. So, we're gonna mix it together. I took some oil from the oil that I used when I was frying the chicken. So, there's a little bit of the oil. So, guys, I'm just going to So, guys, the sauce is ready. It's all set. This one of the now. So this is the finishing look. I will wrap it with foil again. That's the Yekale guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. Thank you. Bye.